Hey Capricorn, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what's coming up for you for the month of May 2024. Today is the 6th of May 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 5.59 p.m. <clears throat> Let's get a reading started. Cap, I'm sorry that I'm late because I'm sick. <laughs> so I'm trying to push through all 12 signs. You are my third. But anyway, let's get a reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Capricorn. Um, important messages for Capricorn. What's coming up <clears throat> in May 2024? Okay, Cap, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field this, this month. And this reading could also resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Thanks for being here, Cap. Hope all is well. <clears throat> okay. Good to see you right here. Queen of Pentacles. That's you. Oh, even better. The Empress. Nice. We've got the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I do see multiple individuals here, the Knight of Swords <clears throat> in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, and the Knight of Wands. These are the masculine energy. <clears throat> it could either mean that currently you are dealing with these people, or potentially this month, um, you're going to be connecting with these people right here, okay? And six, I love the Six of Wands, and I again, I see you right here with the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to focus on the positive right now, okay? <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, my th I've just I've been really sick, and I'm just today I'm starting to feel slightly better. But six of wands, this indicates success, but also can indicate you, Cap, having a lot of admirers. Maybe because they see you as somebody who is reliable, um, somebody who's got their life together, have their ducks in their row. Um, and Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Money, so I do see growth in your finances right here with the Empress, because Empress indicates growth. For some of you, the Empress, you know, the Empress can indicate pregnancy, okay? Not for all of you, this is just a general reading. And Empress is somebody who is perpetually pregnant. Some of you might hear some good news in regards to pregnancy, whether it's your own or somebody you love and care about, or somebody very close to you. And the six of wands also indicates success. So success, I feel like most likely in your work arena or getting some sort of recognition. Um, but it could also be love where you might have a lot of options or people might want your attention or somebody. These three people right here may want your attention. But bear in mind that all of these court cards, it, it could um, may not be may not mean that there are three people. It could mean like one person embodying all of these court cards, right? But I'm definitely seeing the Libra, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Now, Cap, the sun in reverse can indicate unhappiness or pessimism, okay? The hangman here is in reverse and not a sword tomorrow. Some of you could be feeling like frustrated, okay? or in the past, whether it's in the past or currently, because this is actually sitting in your past position, but you may have been very pessimistic about a certain somebody or your situation, your environment, and uh, King of Cups in reverse. Mm, I feel like you may, you, you may be feeling very frustrated with somebody right now or potentially, okay? Four Wands here is in reverse. I don't know why I'm getting a very specific message here. It's not for all of you. It may have something to do with your house, okay? Um, you could be thinking about moving, um, or you may be doing something around your house because this is a home situation, but there's a lot of frustration going on right here and unhappiness. It could be, you know, somebody you deal with, could be your landlord if you're renting or the management of your place. Um, but I feel like there is, you're going to have this desire of wanting to put your roots down somewhere else. Okay, again, this, this part is super specific. It's not for, for all of you. But I do see an individual here, Cap, if this is related to love, 
um, I feel like somebody may want to express something to you, but feeling very frustrated and pessimistic because you appear to be the emperor. So this person may see you as somebody, you know, who is up there and possibly not at their, their level because the king and the knights are definitely younger than the empress. But let's see more, Cat. So we've got the King of Swords, <laughs> so many people here. Yeah, some of you literally could be, I feel like this month, maybe you're going to be socializing, or it could also be spiritual of saying, you know, socialize. And especially if you're single, and if you would like to get into a relationship, meet somebody new, date somebody new, um, maybe it's time to socialize, because the Three of Cups is right here, and you will have multiple options. Not always you know not all options are always good but it's you know king of swords like the sword indicates you you know um getting some information swords indicates information even knowledge facts um getting to know somebody i feel like it could be embodying the king of swords here uh cap for some reason it's kind of weird e even though this is a king and it is not an earth energy. So, and especially for those Capricorn who are more masculine, I feel like you, you might end up, if you want to, okay, you may have options. And especially if you're single, you may have options. But I feel like you are also going to be very cutthroat, as in you're going to cut people off left, right, center. Okay, this is why these are... These people are all in reverse. And the fool here is also in reverse. That means you wouldn't want to take any risks with um, any fool, any fools. <laughs> people who don't deserve your time, don't deserve, um, who doesn't serve your highest good. Because the Nine of Cups is here. Some of your cap, you could be feeling as though, you know, I think I'd rather be alone um, doing my own thing. And I will, and I have my friends, Three of Cups, or my social circle that I can hang out with because you've been hurt before through a sword, so just not ready, not completely healed yet from a past a situation with the star in one verse. Because this means that you haven't healed yet, but eventually I see you, the Empress here, healing, but this is also, this could also mean growing, okay? Growing. I don't know why I'm hearing this right now, but Cap, some of you are going to have a huge appetite this month. Either it's because you just have a huge appetite for some reason or that you're going to, going to be um, socializing a lot with the Three of Cups because these cups, are, cups indicate um, drinks and food as well. I feel like some of you could be spoiled with drinks, food, maybe because if you go on... Maybe because you are going to be going on dates or uh, being invited to events. All right. But, um, Cap, overall, I feel like I like that I'm seeing you in an upright position. So you're going you're gonna to feel stable and secure this month. Although I feel like you're going to be cutting off a lot of people as well. People who don't make you feel happy. But I definitely see some sort of a, su a success um yeah i see i see you cutting people off people will frustrate you and if you're embodying the king of cups here in my verse as well just it's like emotionally unavailable kind of an energy some of you may not even want to be available even if you are single um but if you are already in a relationship i definitely see you being somebody very very loyal and not having, not saying that emotion, you know, for example, if I'm in a relationship, that is the only person that I have my emotions for. Hence, I'm emotionally unavailable for other people, other options, some of you, it could be that, okay? If you are in a relationship, I do see somebody chasing after you here with the Knight of Wands, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But I'm also seeing you as seeing you feeling like, oh, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm just good being where I'm at right now. Or that you may end up thinking that you'd be better off just doing, doing whatever that makes you happy, indulging whatever that makes you happy. 
this is like a very comfortable energy where you feel like oh, everything I need is here at this moment right now or during this phase uh, of during this phase in your life sorry cap I'm still like kind of sick so please bear with me anyway <laughs> this is your <laughs> reading I hope you resonated in some way shape or form I hope I hope it helps I'm struggling a little bit here but um thank you so much for all of your love and support and don't forget to hit like share and subscribe i will um what was i gonna say oh i'm gonna go live sometime maybe this week or next week when i feel like better for those of you who want to book me for a personal reading all the information is in the description box below unless um unless you like to catch me live where you can also um, get your personal reading done during my live stream, but it's only for super chat, super chat questions only. All right. Take care, Cap. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Love you. Bye.